Pepper fried chicken. Oh! Oh, hey! Uh, oh, let me put this away. Hi! <laughs> Dimensions in time here, but everybody just calls me D. So, I have a couple of stacks of rubber wood here that I have to process. And if you've ever processed rubber wood in an extractor, it's boring. It takes forever. So, what we need is an overclocker upgrade. This is Industrial Crafts uh, speed, speed Up module. And basically, you can take these, throw them into a machine, and it makes things faster. And you can see here. Take it out, slows down, put it in, speeds up. Pretty cool. Now what you'll see here is that this decreases the process time of each uh, thing that it's processing by 30%. So that's a pretty big jump down, uh, or up, uh, depending on the way you look at it. And it also increases uh, the power draw to the machine to 160%. So you're, you're drawing 60% more power to get 30% more speed. Now, these do stack, uh, these little overclocker upgrades. So you can put more than one in, the, in each one of these slots. You don't, you're not limited to four. So you can have a bunch in one slot and have other slots filled with other different types of upgrades. But the more you put in here, the more power it draws, and you run the risk of running out of power. If you put, in my experience, if you put more than five or six in a machine, you're going to start to see this power drain down. So, how do we make one of these puppies? Well, it's kind of a convoluted process, but it, it's well worth the uh, the effort that you put in. And it's not as hard as it seems once you once you get used to making them. You're going to need some iron, some tin, and some copper. Uh, you need some rubber because you're going to need some insulated copper cable in order to make this electronic circuit. That's where the iron plate comes in. You're also going to need the redstone to make these puppies. So all of this basically goes into making an electronic circuit or an empty cell. Now the tin plates you'll be able to, to get an empty cell with. And basically you would take an empty cell and put it into a metal former in, I'm sorry, a tin plate and put it into a metal former in extruding mode and you'll get once it's done let me speed it up have a nice little handy upgrade right there you'll get three empty cells for every plate tin plate that you put in not too shabby now if you noticed let me take a look here and see for this upgrade actually yeah that's not gonna let me do that upgrade if you noticed when we when I looked at the uh, okay let's <laughs> let's try let's try this there we go if you if, notice when you look at the upgrade you're gonna need three different 10k coolant cells okay and how do you make these puppies well you start off with an empty cell and you fill it with coolant and that makes this coolant cell and then in order to turn a coolant cell into a 10k coolant cell you surround it with tin plates again you're going to need there's a, a bunch of tin so this this upgrade each upgrade takes a ton of tin and a bunch of uh, insulated copper and redstone and just a few iron plates in order to make um, these 10k coolant cells. So, how do you f how do you fill these empty cells with coolant, and how do you make the coolant? Well, let's go to morning time here. You're going to need a fluid solid canning machine, and let me show you how to make one of those. A fluid solid canning machine is pretty easy to make, actually keep forgetting I'm in creative mode here. There we go. Now I can do that. You get, uh, you're going to need, again, more tin. A lot of tin. You're going to need more of these electronic circuits. And you're also going to need a basic machine casing, which is going to take up more of those iron plates. 
okay so you can see that you're going to need to be processing a lot of plates in order to make these upgrades which is not a big deal so what you do is you take let me grab these empty cells too you take some lapis and put it into a macerator now i've got a rotary macerator here so it's going to go quick and you turn it into lapis dust okay take that lapis dust you create your canning machine and hook it up to a water source i've just got a uh, aqueous accumulator here from thermal expansion hooked up to some endo or io fluid conduit and that's providing water now you take the canning machine and you put it on fluid enrich tank or cell it says and that's where we get our cells from now I only need to do three so put your cell into the to the top left slot and then this is where you put your lapis dust and basically what this machine is going to start doing now let me put this upgrade in here so it goes a little faster it takes this water combines it with the lapis to give me coolant okay and it automatically puts it into the coolant cell pretty neat now we need ten, three of those 10k coolant cells so we're gonna make three coolant cells here and as you can see it's going to keep making as long as there's lapis in here to cover it's gonna keep making coolant okay it does you don't necessarily have to have the, the cell in there you can actually fill it up with coolant as you're making cells then what you want to do is you want to fill cell from the tank so you just put that up in there it doesn't actually make it as you can see and that's gonna fill it oh it's filling from that tank sorry forgot about that so let's see if you put it in there drain from cell into tank maybe you can't Maybe it only drains, maybe it only pulls from this tank and gives you a water cell. Yeah, that's what it looks like it does. Did not know that. So, what you'd probably have to do is pull this coolant out of here and then put it into this side um, using some piping to actually allow it to fill that cell. Then you could fill the cell from this tank rather than that tank. You might be able to, I guess I could take this you might be able to do something where you click maybe no I guess it doesn't let you yeah it looks like it only goes one way there may be a module that does it I'm not sure we'll have to check and in, check into that and get back to you but that's how you make the coolant cells okay then you take coolant cell and whoops I didn't make one of those tables that hold the things you take the coolant cells and you surround it with tin 10k coolant cells now these don't stack so you can't put them on top of each other you have to have them separate now if you remember it was coolant cells at the top show you the recipe again here oh, it's not letting me let me pull that back out of here okay coolant cells at the top two insulated copper cables on either side and the circuits so let's grab those circuits and grab that cable and there we go put your coolant cells across the top and it gives you two okay and as you can see decreases process time to 49 percent but it increases the power to 256 percent so now I have three up upgrades oops sorry I to put that back in there um, now I have three upgrades so let's come back over here to the extractor put these in and I'll put them in one at a time one two three now you can see how fast it goes pretty fast right 
Let's do some more. Okay. Let's act, let me actually give myself a stack of these. Okay. And I'll show you exactly what we've got here. So I've got a stack, a little bit more than a stack here now. So let's let's throw four in, and you can see it goes pretty fast. Let's throw four more in. Now it's flying. Okay. Let's throw four more in. Now you can see it's starting to lose power, but it's really flying. Look at that. Now let's put four more in. Now it's losing power pretty much. It, it, if you put more than that in, you're gonna you're gonna run out of power. Now the, the one of the reasons probably is because I have a heavy duty cable running out of an MS, MFSU with a with a full charge. So that is why. But you can see you could see that it was running out of power. Let's throw all of them in that I have, and you can see now it's requesting. I mean, look at that. <laughs> It's requesting way too much power. Now, in the past, what would have happened was this machine would have blown up long ago. Uh, it seems to me that the IC2 people have uh, done away with whatever it was in their routine that says, you know, hey, this machine needs to blow because it's requesting too much power. I'm not sure if they actually have ganked that or not, but um, it definitely is not. The machines are definitely not exploding right here and they probably should be so now later on in the game you're actually going to be able to use uh, upgraded machines I have advanced machines um, like I have a thermal washer the, the ore washing machine that's in the uh, early game IC2 is painfully slow just like the extractor so th there are upgrades for for speed just like I'm sure everybody has used the rotary macerator rather than the regular macerator later on in the game. So you do have that option. But if, you, if you're early in the game and you want a quick way to upgrade all of your machines to make them faster, then the overclocker upgrade is the way to go. I hope you liked this video. I hope I helped you out with trying to make those. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, I appreciate if you click the like button and click subscribe to be notified when I do more videos. Thanks for watching.